when you don't know that you know, you're generally left in the dark. That's why it's prudent to have a little spark. Light things up. Find out who you are, what you are, where you are, and why you are. Because you are. There's so many things that are so obvious in our realities, and yet we're dictated to by powers that be and other minds that tend to control your own because you don't take responsibility for yourself enough to know who you are and what you are. Life's so simple, but we complicate it to death with endless, uh, endless reasoning to try to back up one or another, ouch, that wax is hot, one or another belief systems that may or may not be right. It, well, there, there is no right and wrong. Right and wrong are, are just opposites of polarity. They're polar opposites. And we confuse ourselves with, with endless, endless solutions to a problem that is not a problem. We make it a problem. If we just accept the responsibility for who and what we are, there's, there's nothing that should get in the way of us being ourselves. That's what the whole problem is. We're afraid to be ourselves because we're so programmed to be what others want us to be. What others expect us to be. And the, the truth of the matter is, all we have to do is be ourselves. I'm, I'm a clown. And I'm serious as a heart attack. Um, I, I love the concept of music. There's only seven notes and then it repeats itself. And the second one I said when there was uh, seven notes and they repeat themselves, it was two, two, two on the time. Repeat itself, repeat itself. There's nothing new under the sun in the book of Ecclesiastes if you've ever read the Bible. But that, that's just basically a road map that uh, has been written and rewritten and written over again and over again. I, I won't get into theology other than to say that I've said it a thousand times and punched it into the keyboard a thousand times that uh, myth has become tradition, tradition has become religion, and religion has become the dictating force that controls people's minds through the government because the government is little more than one nation under God. Yeah, okay, okay. We're, we're preached all this garbage from the time we go to kindergarten until we come of age of responsibility. What is that age? For me, it was uh, between the ages of 13 and 14, being a runaway from home, on and on and on. I had to learn who I was and looked and looked and looked. And finally, I came to the conclusion that I'm me. I can't be anything else other than what everybody else wants me to be. But that's not being me. That's being the illusion of what others expect of me. Anyway, I, I could probably ramble on for hours and hours and hours and have plenty of insights here and there, but the main point is just be you. You can't be anything else. And just be the best you that you can be. And if you're looking for yourself, the best way to do it is to get away from other people, find a quiet place somewhere, shut off all of your mental ramblings, the, the inner dialogue where your subconscious and conscious 
are trying to merge, but they're arguing with each other at the same time. And it's just a simple fact of realizing that moment by moment, we tend to grow away from ourselves while we're looking for ourselves. We don't have to look because we're already there. If your mind can quiet down and you can relax and take every thought of self and have it disappear, then you'll find yourself. You have to get to the end of yourself before you find out who you are. and what you are. Anyway, that's about all I, I really have to say. I just had a, a couple ideas to throw out there. <clears throat> In the meantime, I'll push a button and this will stop. Learn to love yourself and be yourself, then you can love others. It's that easy. Night.